Signed two defensive ends today, Jaden Jones from the Juco ranks and Lamont Boot Screen, who's been committed here since the day he was born. What is it that you like about the two guys, especially Boots coming out of high school ranks? Well, you know, I, I, I love Boots' athleticism off the edge. Uh, you know, he, ha he's a, he has a chance to be a really dynamic pass rusher. Um, you know, the, some of the things that I've had a chance to work with him when he's been up at camps, like his, his ability to bend off the edge, his acceleration, his first step, his explosiveness, is, is really pretty, pretty remarkable. Um, and, then, and I think then the second – the way you led into the, the question, I think, is, is one of the other things that makes me really excited about him. He bleeds Garnet Blue. A lot of people could say that, but like he absolutely, from childhood, this is the only place I think he ever wanted to play, and that matters. You know, having guys that are truly invested in the in the, in the tradition and the culture of what we're doing, um, that are coming here for for reasons that are that are have nothing to do with any selfish motivation, just because they love the place. Um, I think that speaks a lot of, of him and what it's all about. And then with Jaden Jones, I just, I, 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 I think the ceiling for him is so high. You know, he's a guy that unfortunately got hurt. Um, you know, early in the season. You know, I joke with Jaden though because I think I think you know part of me was super disappointed for him when when he got hurt, but then part of me knew that we're going to keep him a little bit of a secret because I just think his ceiling um, is so tremendous with his length, his athleticism, uh, how his body is, is growing and he's gaining weight and adding weight. I think he has the potential to be a really good player, and I'm, I'm excited for him to get on campus here in, in January and let us start getting to work with him. As you go forward, how do you navigate what you need, and how much does Jared Burse's ultimate decision factor into how you approach that? Well, you know, there, there's going to be a lot of moving pieces in terms of uh, the final roster management, um, especially at the defensive line. Um, I know there's a couple guys on our current roster that, that you know, are still looking to make some decisions and um, you know give them the time and space that they need for that. And then in terms of what we're going to do next, um, you know we've always had some success with the with the transfer portal, um, and I'm I'm sure we'll look to, to add on to that as uh, as we move forward here, going closer to the new year. How do you balance high school versus portal at a position as far as building the ranks and having guys who are ready today versus guys who are preparing to be ready down the road? Uh, I think it's 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 dependent on on where your roster is at the time. You know, a couple years ago uh, when Jermaine and Kier came in, that was a, a, we were in dire need of two veteran presidents to come in and play. Um, and really when those guys left, we needed, we felt like we definitely needed one. Um, you know, and that, that's where Jared Burst came into play. You know, I'm not going to kind of tip our hand too much in terms of what we're planning on doing uh, here going into January, but I, I would suspect that there will definitely be uh some some transfer talk here in the next uh, week or so.